symptoms of low HDL. Uh, HDL is the good cholesterol that removes the excess cholesterol in the blood. Uh, low levels may cause risk of coronary heart disease. Uh, you'll have an increase in blood sugar levels if you have a low HDL. You'll have an increase in triglycerides. Atherosclerosis could develop because of smoking or increased fat in the diet and lack of exercise. Uh, you'll have a buildup of fatty deposits on the walls of the arteries, which will decrease the blood flow to the heart and uh, could cause a heart attack or it could cause a stroke to the brain. Now, cholesterol is essential to life. HDL is good. LDL is bad. Higher the HDL, greater than 20% of the total cholesterol, and lower the LDL, ideally zero, the better. It is best to be diagnosed with two separate tests. You get one done for HDL and one done for the LDL. Now, some of the things that you might present with are symptoms of a low HDL due to the indirectness of the atherosclerosis that is caused because of the low HDL and not having enough HDL to eat up the bad cholesterol, then what happens is you can develop with chest pain, leg cramps, dizziness, leg, leg ulcers, and poor circulation, shortness of breath, mental dullness, confusion, and poor memories, and increase in clumsiness. So there's some indirect relationships there with HDL uh, being low and not being able to, to um, get rid of that bad cholesterol.